Hey guys, last time we checked out the basics of the Boss GT100 hardware unit and the Tone Studio software. Today we'll dig deeper into the different preamps slash amp sims. We'll start with the basic preamp settings, then check out the vintage amp types. Let's go! I'm gonna use Tone Studio for this video so you get a better visual representation. We'll start with the basic preamp settings. Here's your preamp off and on. Here's the type, different types gain the gain switch changes the gain from low middle and high low medium and high gain settings t comp adjusts the sense of compression of the amp level is just the volume of the entire preamp of course don't set this too high otherwise we might blow things up again here's the bright off and on switch turns the bright setting on and off it's only available with certain preamp types here we have the bass middle and treble frequency ranges and the presence Presence adjusts the tone for the ultra high frequency range. The presence parameter functions as a high cut filter with some preamp type. Click on two, you have the solo switch, on or off. And here you set the solo level. So you, what you can do is assign the solo switch to a pedal, click it on and off and get a little bit of volume boost for the solo. Click on number four and you can get to the speaker type. And here you can see all the different speaker types. 1x8, 1x10, 1x12, 2x12, 4x10, 4x12, and 8x12. Origin is original, which means that it's the built-in speaker of the amp you selected with the preamp type. Here you can select mic types, mic distance, off mic, on mic, mic position, Mic level, direct mix. DYN57 is a Shure SM57. Dyne 421 is a Sennheiser MD421. CND451, AKGC451B. CND87, Neumann U87, and flat. Simulate a mic with perfectly flat response. Produces a sonic image close to that listening to the sound directly from the speakers on site. And of course, mic, off mic, on mic. Mic DIS, mic distance, simulates the distance between the mic and the speaker. Off mic, points the mic away from the speaker. On mic, provides conditions whereby the mic is directed towards the speaker. Mic position, simulates the mic position. Center is the mic in the middle of the speaker cone. Then you can select between one to 10 centimeters. Mic level adjusts the volume of the mic and direct mix adjusts the volume of the direct sound. These are enabled when the output select parameter is set to line slash phone the vintage amps. We'll start with the JC120. Next is the Tweed, a Fender Bassman 4x10 combo. Next is the Deluxe Crunch. Next up is the VO Drive, which is the Vox AC30TB. Favored by Brian May and his hero, Rory Gallagher. VO lead, the lead sound of the Vox AC30. Next is the match drive. Models a sound input to the left input on a matchless DC30. Next up is the BG lead, which is the lead sound of the Mesa Boogie combo amp. The BG drive is the Mesa Boogie with the treble shift switch on. The 
MS959-1, this model is a sound input to input one on a Marshall 1959. It's pretty trebly. The MS959-1 plus two is the sound of connecting inputs one and two of the guitar amp in parallel, creating a sound with a stronger low end than one. This one models the sound of the Channel 2 Vintage Mode on the Mesa Boogie Duo Rectifier. This one models the sound of the Channel 2 Modern Mode on the Mesa Boogie Duo Rectifier. <laughs> Amp lead models a Hughes and Kettner Triamp Amp 3 box. <laughs> SLDN models a Soldano SLO 100, the typical sound of the 80s. The 5150 drive models, you guessed it, the lead channel of a PV EVH 5150. And we have two new ones, which uh, I don't see in the manual. So check this out. This is a Bogner Uber metal. Rock reverb amp. This is very interesting. Today we learned about the vast array of preamps slash amp sims in the GT100. I definitely had a blast playing through everything. Next time we'll get into the basic effects, the overdrive slash distortion patches, and all the effects you can assign to FX1 and FX2. Enjoy and have fun exploring the endless possibilities with the GT100. Thanks for watching, I hope this helps you immensely. If you liked the video, it would bring a huge smile to my face, just like this. If you subscribe, like, and comment, and then hit the bell to get updates on future videos. To join our community, please click on the link in the description below. You'll get updates on future videos as well as cool, helpful bonus stuff. Have an awesome creative day!